you can join in with anything you see The sound of our live TV You can join in with anything you see The sound of our live TV So join right in and have some Everybody. Welcome to our Saturday afternoon music making session here at Soundabout. So good to see so many people here. Hi Ewan, hi Adam, hi Izzy and Charlotte and Joseph. Oh, it's so lovely to see so many of you here. Today we are off on our trip to the moon. Uh, so we're going to start by singing a lovely hello song to you all for joining us here. I'd love it if you could join in with sound, any sound makers that you've got, any shakers, any little bits and bobs that you've got. Join in with everything. All the songs are welcome for musical accompaniment and singing along today. This is a very modest song. to the moon Are we gonna get there soon We're off to the moon Sing along to your favourite tune We're off to the moon Are we gonna get there soon We're off to the moon Sing along to your new favourite tune coming along with us here today hi joe hi josh we got josh we got ethan and joe we got josh we've got ethan and joe oh we got josh we've got ethan and joe and ava is here and she's dancing ava is here and Okay, who else has arrived? Hi, Luke. Oh, hi, Sophia from Great Ormond Street Hospital. That is lovely. Let's say a big hello to everybody at Great St. Uh, Ormond Street Hospital. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi, Vicky, all the way from Essex. Hi, Emma. So lovely to see you all arriving here with me. We're going to sing what I have dubbed now uh, your favourite tune. Uh, we're going to sing that round one more time and we're going to try and fit in a whole bunch more hellos. If you want to say hello here in the comments, <clears throat> then I'll try and include you in this last round. Thank you all so much for saying hello there uh, and it's so great to welcome you here for our trip to the moon today. Now if we're going to go off to the moon then I think it's really important that we have a little blast off in a big rocket to get there. I think that's one of the most vital things about going on a trip to the moon. So you don't need anything specific for this little bit if you can just if you've got hands or feet or a chair or someone can help you with all of those things that in which case we're going to use those things now to help us blast off to the moon and uh pop my guitar to one side Let's see those fingers. Let's see those fingers if you can as we start to get ourselves ready. Okay. Here we go. And we're going to make a little sound if we can. We're going to go. Ooh. Or you might hum. You might be able to go. Mm. And if you're working with someone, you could get right in close to them. I'm going to start to build up like this. And then, of course, as we build up, we have to go five, four. And then we might be on to our knees. Or we might be on to our chests. Or we might be on to our shoulders. Or we might be gentle on our heads too. Or on a chair. Now 
let's see. I think, although that was a really good effort, it might be that we just need to have one or two more tries to get our rocket up into the air and off to the moon. See those fingers again. Let's hear the. And like I say, you might get in nice and close. And as we get ready for our countdown. Five, four, three. Chest. We're on the chair next to us, or maybe we're on mum, or dad, or someone we're with, and we go. Now, I think it might be the case that we just need to do one more of these big blast offs and then that will get us all the way right up into space and on our journey on the way to the moon let's try one more here are our fingers you might make a different sound this time you might not do an ooh you might not do an mm you might do an ah you might do a you might go wee you might do any of those things as we go five four I need all of your help with this next bit. So make sure you've got some ideas because I'm going to load you all into the rocket. But don't you be thinking that rockets make their way all the way to the moon without lots of people working on them. That's right. We're back to work already. Rightly or wrongly. And I'm going to need all of you to do a little job on our rocket. So have a think about what jobs you might want to do on our rocket. We're gonna fir we're, first off, we're gonna need at least one pilot. So we're gonna need some people who might have something that they can steer, a joystick, or something that they can steer up here. Or they might have some instruments that are a bit like a job. So I'd love to hear all of your different ideas. Oh. This mo I was about to sing this train then. We're not getting on a train, are we, on the way to uh, onto the moon? That would be crazy. Oh, this rocket is bound for the moon. This rocket, this rocket is bound for the moon. This rocket, oh, this rocket is bound for the moon. This rocket is bound for the moon. <coughs> this rocket someone to be our driver then who who have we got volunteering out there that's gonna be our driver oh well seeing as though luke is loving the echo on the microphone maybe luke is inadvertently volunteering to be our driver here oh luke is the driver of this rocket maybe it should be pilot actually luke is the pilot of this rocket Oh, Luke is the pilot of Luke is the pilot of Luke is the pilot of this rocket Cause this rocket is bound for the moon This rocket Oh, this rocket is bound for the moon This rocket This rocket is bound for the moon This rocket is bound 
Okay. <clears throat> Just water the old windpipes. We've got a pilot. Who else do we need to come here on our trip with us? George. <coughs> George would like to be a co-pilot. Excellent. Well, it's quite a long trip all the way to the moon. So having just one pilot is never going to be enough. So I think it is absolutely A-OK -okay for George to be the co-pilot of this rocket. got a pilot. We've got a co-pilot. Oh, Mikey. Alistair would like to be the cook. Amazing. Okay. And Mikey, we're going to find a job for you as well, Mikey. Mikey, if you've got a sound maker that you could use, a shaker or anything, you could show us how you'd be the engineer, maybe, with your hammer action, your spanner action. You could be the engineer on this rocket. Alistair, if you're going to be the cook, you might have something you can sizzle up for us. You could be cooking away, sizzling. And Alistair is the cook on this rocket. Oh, Alistair is the cook on this rocket. Alistair is the cook on. Alistair is the cook on. Alistair is the cook on this rocket. And Ewan is gonna shove the rocket fuel on this rocket. Oh, Ewan is gonna shovel the rocket fuel on this rocket. Oh, Ewan is gonna shovel the rocket fuel. Ewan is gonna shovel the rocket fuel. Shivan is gonna shovel the rocket fuel on this rocket. And Josh is the navigator on this rocket. Which way? Josh is the navigator on this Rocket. Oh, Josh is the navigator. Josh is the navigator. Josh is the navigator on this rocket. If you could just turn uh, left at the star, left at the star, hard right at the passing asteroid. Josh, this rocket is bound for the moon. This rocket. Oh, this rocket is bound for the moon, this rocket. Oh, this rocket is bound for the moon, this rocket is bound for the moon. This rocket is bound for the moon, this rocket. Okay, we'll do a couple more, couple more. Okay, so Charlie is also going to be the navigator. And Lowry is going to spot the stars. Brilliant. Well, that's great, Charlie, because we'll need someone. It's a long way to the moon, and we're going to need someone to take over in shifts to do some of the navigation. Oh, Charlie is the navigator on this rocket. Oh, Charlie is the navigator on this rocket. Oh, Charlie is the navigator. Charlie is the navigator. Charlie is the navigator on this rocket. Watch out. Watch out for low flying meteoroid showers over on the right. And Lowry will spot the stars on this rocket. Oh, Lowry will spot the stars on this rocket. Oh, Lowry will spot the stars. Lowry will spot the stars. Lowry will spot the stars on this rocket. Cause this rocket is bound for the moon. This rocket. Oh, this rocket is bound for the moon. This rocket. Oh, this 
rocket is bound for the. That's your bit. Moon this rocket. Oh, this rocket is bound for the. This rocket. Oh, oh, this rocket is bound for the. This rocket is bound for the. This rocket is bound for the. Did you all hear the alarm? And it was looking at me Oh, I think I just saw an alien An alien did I see? Oh, I think I just saw an alien, and he was looking at me. Okay, this is where I need all of your help again. I want to know from you what our alien looks like. I want to know from you what our alien sounds like. I want to know from you what our alien moves like. An alien did I see Oh, I think I just saw an alien And he was looking at me I'm gonna start us off He's got purple fur He's got purple fur He's got purple fur He's got purple fur Okay, there's loads of ideas. George says our alien is green. Okay, Jessica thinks our alien squeals. Oh, it's got... If our alien's green, 
uh, and it's got purple fur. I think maybe it's just got furry arms, but a green torso, a green body. It's got a green body, got a green body, a bright green body. Oh, it's got a green body, got a green body, got a green body, and it thinks the alien squeals. Okay, Jessica, if you think our alien squeals, does it squeal a bit like this? Okay, Luke's alien has three heads, 12 eyes, four arms, and is blue and full of smile. Okay, he's got three heads, he's got 12 eyes, he's got full on arms, he's got blue skin, he's got going to be looking at next <clears throat> what the texture of the moon might feel like what it might feel like under our fingers under our feet so if you've got lots of different things that you could touch maybe they might be soft they might be crinkly they might be hard then that might be worth having a little go okay there we go we should be back cleaner than ever ready to rock Hopefully you found some things to feel on your fingers, feel on your feet. Some people say the moon is made out of cheese. I say they haven't got a clue. I say it's made out of whatever. Please, it's all up to you. So let's try and find some things that we think the moon might be made out of. Some people say the moon is made out of cheese. I say they haven't got a clue. I say it's made out of whatever you please It's all up to you So maybe you've got something that is soft to touch Now let me have a little look here, see what I've got that might be soft I've got this, feel this soft on your fingers or you might have something like I wonder if it's made out of something hard like this rock that might feel that might feel quite nice on your feet actually can you tell me what you've got at home there that you think the moon might be made out of Some people say the moon is made out of cheese I think they haven't got a clue I think it's made out of whatever 
Is it made out of slime or oh, soft silk scarves? Is it made out of rubber or oh, soft silk scarves? Is it made out of marbles? Might be quite hard to walk on. Is it soft under your toes? Is it hard under your hands? Is it something that hurts your elbows? Some people think the moon is made out of cheese. They haven't got a clue. I think it's made out of whatever you please. It's all up to you. Is it smooth like marble? Bouncy like rubber, soft like lovely silk scarves. Is it made out of a squidgy ball like Josh thinks it is? Is it something nice or something horrible? Some people think the moon is made out of cheese. I think they haven't got a clue. I think it's made out of whatever you please. It's all up to you. Is it soft on your toes? Is it hard on your fingers? Is it something you want to lie down? Is it squidgy? Well, I've not got anything squidgy. Is it crinkly? Does it make a funny sound when you walk? Some people think the moon is made out of cheese. I don't think they've got a clue. made out of whatever you please it's all up to you okay well thank you so much Coming on our moon trip today, our moon adventure, we blasted off into space, didn't we? We did a little five, four, three, two, one countdown into space. We've given each other a job role on the rocket with all your ideas. Uh, we've landed, we've seen aliens, we've seen lots of different aliens making uh, funny sounds, haven't we? Uh, maybe some of our aliens are still around somewhere. Maybe that sounds a bit more like the clangers for, for those that are old enough to, to get that one. We've felt what it feels like on the moon underneath our fingers and our toes. And now, I think it's time for us to float back down to Earth. And after all that excitement, a little rest. If you've got something nice that you could float with, you might float over your face. Feel the waft of the floating. You might waft and float over your fingers. 
as we start to just wind back down to earth. Floating back down to earth, down, down, down to the ground, 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 floating back down to earth, floating. This is a really nice moment to feel some cool breeze on your face if you've got something you can do that with and really start to wind it down. Floating back down to earth, down, down, down to the ground, ground. wind down now I just want to say thank you all so much for coming along with me these sessions are free and out there for anyone to take part in but we do have a link that you can donate to anything during this tough time for everybody is really appreciated to keep us able to make these sound about live tv videos we really appreciate all of your support during this time and we hope that we'll be together with you all again soon to make music. And if you really enjoyed these, there's ones, and this is your first time, this might be your first Sound About Live. We're here every Tuesday, every Saturday at 2 p.m. And you can also catch up on our website. Links are available above to see any of the ones we've done previously. down